Okay, um, we've been writing in Maine Woodlands about uh, different methods of uh, controlling um, competition from beech or in really any hardwood trees. Um, one way to do that is to get herbicide into the vascular tissue of the of the tree while it's alive. You can treat freshly cut stumps, but that has to be done within four days. Or you can do what I've it's called injection, where you uh, inject the uh, herbicide into the tissue using the typical way was always hack and squirt using a small hand axe and a squirt bottle of herbicide where you chop into the tree, make a, what's called a frill around the tree. You can space the incisions and then inject a little, this is water, we're not used to spraying herbicide here, this is just water filtration, into the slit. And that's an age-old method, but it's very hard on your wrist. I had carpal tunnel surgery. I, I'm pretty sure because I did a lot of this when I was in college, and it's very and it's just uh, challenging. Um, so that's that. Uh, another method is to newly uh, developed and used by Peter Smolage, I think gets credit for this in Cornell is what's called drill and fill, where you drill into the tree, the downward angle with a sharp drill bit, and then fill that hole with herbicide. So we've been experimenting with this and we'll come back to that. Um, so we tried uh, last week, we went out and we started doing this with the old-fashioned pump spray bottle. And I became frustrated because these things will suck air and you, it's very, when, when you, when, for spraying stumps this is fine, even maybe for the hack and squirt, but for a, this is much more precision because you need to put like a one millimeter volume into the hole. So if you, it's really hard to control that. If you start, and it will, if you let this sit, it will pump air, right? So you have to kind of pump it up and then you get too much pressure, it blows out the hole. I was frustrated. So we looked for an alternative and I discovered that there are these pressurized small hand spray bottles, which I did not know about really, and I don't know why. Um, so I've ordered two of them. These are, again are filled with water. Solo, these are, there's many options of these. These are the good ones. Solo, of course, a famous sprayer maker, makes this one. This is one liter. It weighs three pounds, five ounces when it's full, fluid. And Husqvarna, 1.5 liters, uh, half again as much, four uh, pounds, three ounces. So both of these work. You, you unscrew the top, you fill them with the, the, the solution you're going to use, and then you, you pump them up with this pump on the top. Now, because we're going to put, we want low pressure here, we're not going to use high pressure. So these things are made to do both a stream, produce a stream, which is what we want, or a spray. So let's just see if we can capture this here. So here we are spraying a stream under fairly low pressure. All we're doing is hitting this trigger very lightly. So see how precise that is? You can just tap it. Or if you, it's like you, you can also do foliar spray and you screw the nozzle out and you'll have a fan. This solo comes with this actual cone and you can screw on the nozzle if you want to use that. <clears throat> so, the, and this also, this solo also articulates this way so you can uh, control the nozzle angle. Isn't that interesting? So nice. It's like only one liter, essentially a quart, 32 ounces. Plus, mine's a little bigger, a little heavier. There's a brass nozzle. You can see here. Exact, let's see. I got it set. Uh, let's set it on stream. So it's the same exact thing. It pumps. The handle it pumps like this, right? You don't want too much pressure. And you just tap the trigger and, in, and it ejects, you know, no air, no nothing. Very, pre very precise and you don't, you're not squeezing your hands, so very ergonomic, right? Much better. This also will go to spray, foliar, if you're doing foliage. But it also comes, unlike the Solo, with a two fan nozzles that you would replace this brass pointed nozzle with if you wanted to spray foliage. <clears throat> Okay, so this is, we're gonna then inject these uh, trees using a cordless drill. Now this technology is maybe the last 10 years or so, we finally got drills, high quality, you know, good battery life drills. This is a Festool, this is about the, the nicest one you can buy actually. Four amp hour battery, PDC 18.4. And it just, uh, it, it, what we're gonna use, and we'll illustrate this in the field is uh, a maple tapping bit, 5 sixteenths, uh, drilled to a depth of one inch, which is uh, that diameter, that volume rather, of that cylinder is slightly over one milliliter. 
Um, Smalley shows the label, you know, for injection, you want one milliliter of concentrated glyphosate per two inches of diameter. So we will space these around the tree. However, so a two inch tree would get one, just one hole, a four inch tree would get two holes, etc. And we'll fill that with herbicide using what we bought one of these bottles. Um, we mark the uh, the one inch depth here. This is just a piece of uh, tubing. If you have access to you know sugar maple supplies, this is five sixteenths tubing just slipped over there. So we easy to mark the precise depth. Okay. Um, that we I did some math on this. If you if you have a gallon of spray, which would fill this up what four times I guess for a liter bottle. Um, there's 3,785 milliliters in a gallon, so you would do that many inches of diameter just with one gallon of spray. So this would, that's going to be several acres of, of mature trees. So there, now they're also, I say, oh, I, back up here. I also fashioned, but I've not used this yet, but I think this is, um, we're going to use this. So you want to be able to go hands-free here. So I fashioned a sort of a sling that I can carry this around my neck, right? While I'm drilling, right? So I'll drill and then grab the gun and then inject it into the uh, hole. We'll see how that works. We might have to adjust this, but that's the way we're gonna do. We'll carry a spare battery. We'll also carry a spare drill bit. You wouldn't probably have to use the maple bit. Those are expensive, but they work very well, but I have already broken them. You can, they break, right? So you can use a simple 5 16 spade bit which probably costs a dollar or two uh, which is easy to sharpen with the file so that would also work <clears throat> the solo also makes a two liter sprayer so it's twice the size of this other one it's the same mechanism so this would actually be good for foliage if you wanted to have a couple of these hand sprayers these things only cost twenty five dollars or so so they're relatively economical you can being solo and being Husqvarna, you can buy replacement parts, so they're high quality uh, units. Um, but for this kind of work where you don't need much chemical, why carry this much weight? So I think this would be maybe better for if you're treating like a honeysuckle or any kind of foliar spray, you could put the set this up for a fan nozzle. There's other, of course, cheap things out here. We bought, this is Chapin, you know, it's their janitor supply things. It looked promising. Uh, but if we never even got it to, to hold air the, the when we were messing with it the mechanism broke so don't buy that that's a piece of crap um finally we're so this is what we're going to use we use the farmworks uh, glyphosate which is 41 percent uh you should recommend that you use 25 percent 20 percent is not that different for beach beach is highly controllable we mix uh, a little bit of writ dye into it for that's for stump treatment where you can easily see what you've done in this case I think it's also valuable because the herbicide and water that you mix it with is clear so you can easily see what you've treated this way just by put just put a wee little bit in there and it will dye that well um, we mix uh, into it like a one gallon jug and then which is a good practice and then you pour that into the sprayer people Sprayer manufacturers and others recommend you don't mix directly in the sprayer. You probably do that, but you know it's better to do this. And then we will uh, carry this in a backpack to refill the sprayer. Okay, so I think that's it.